Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineer's Tech Hub channel. So in this session, I'm going to discuss CT Bank interview question and answer for automation test engineer to do eight years of experience. So let's move in the first question. That's okay. Yes, so first question is tell me about yourself. So I have already discussed about that. Tell me about yourself, what you have to highlight. And I had made a separate video for that. You will get <clears throat> that link in the description, real time interview question and answer. Okay. So here just I have mentioned what you have to highlight your name, your current organization, your relevant experience, your skill set. You have to explain with project. Project you have to not explain in the depth. Just you have to tell what domain you have worked and what model you have worked. Then you have to highlight your technical contribution in your project. Then your roles and responsibility you had you have to highlight. So these are the important point where you have to highlight in your tell me about yourself. Then second question is <clears throat> second question is what is the difference between double equal operator and equals method? Okay. So here this is very important question. You know, double equal operator is used to compare primitive data type okay such as integer float boolean so it's check whether the two operands have a same value for example like if you are comparing uh, a double equal b double equal b right so what happened it will return true if the values of a and b are same so first of all you have to understand double equal operator will return boolean type it will return true and false only if value is same then it will return true or else it will return false equals method equals method is used to compare content of two object okay if it check whether the two object have the same state or by default it compare the memory location of two object okay this is the internal part guys so i will explain you with example you can see i could one example for the snapshot and I will, i'll explain you regarding double uh, sorry equals method so or what happened however it can be overridden to compare the content of object properties in a state so for example like you know we have a, a string one object and a string two object so it will return true okay <laughs> so let me explain you regarding equals method okay so equals method you know here you, we have a, some condition it will compare the content content means this value it will compare okay so equals method compare this content so it will return true when this equals method is overridden if equals method is not overridden it will return false it will not compare the content it will compare the reference of object it will not compare this content okay so equals method must be overridden then only it will compare the content otherwise it will compare the reference it will not compare the uh, content okay so this is a thing we have to remember if someone will ask regarding the equals method but double equal operator always compare the reference it won't be compare the content okay so you can see here we have an example of a string s1 and a string s2 two object we have right so s1 double equal s2 so here it will return false because this will compare the reference only it won't be compare the content double equal operator but equals method will compare content in a string equals method is already overridden that's why it will return true in a string buffer equals method is not overridden so here in both condition it will return false here this is the wrong value it will also return false in this case double equal operator is sorry equals method is not overridden it will compare this reference it will compare this reference if you will use double equal operator it won't be compare the content it will compare only reference because it equals method is not overridden okay. so in a string let's move in the another question so how the 
a string is immutable so a string is immutable immutable means value cannot be changed so what happened once we create a string object we cannot perform any changes in the existing object if we are trying to perform any changes with those changes a new object will be created this non-changeable behavior is nothing but immutability of a string okay so you can say we have a string right and we are trying to concat this it the value cannot be changed because here it is a immutable okay so you can see if you will uh, we have a string object and I have huge concat method and when I print this I'm getting Java means here the you can see object is not changed so this is called immutability another question is what is the difference between a string and a string buffer so I have given this example already right once we can create a string object we cannot perform any changes in the a string object if we are trying to perform any changes those changes a new object will be created this non-changeable behavior is nothing but e immutability of a string means a string is immutable and a string buffer is a string buffer is mutable okay so you can see here the same example i have given we have a string we are trying to concat we'll get java but in the string buffer once we can create a string buffer object we can perform any changes in the existing object this changeable behavior is nothing but mutability of a string buffer so we have a string buffer and when i am trying to change this object when i'm trying to append this object right so what happened here right so you can see i am able to append this so i'm getting the output is java selenium okay so another differences in a string class dot equals method is overridden for content comparison even though object are different if content is same equals method return true so another differences we have already discussed right in the string equals method is already overridden so if you will use here you know double equal operator what happened here it will return <coughs> false because it will compare what it will compare the reference it will compare the uh, you know content content means this value but in the string buffer uh, you know uh, uh, equals method is not overridden so it won't be compare the content you can see here we are getting the false because equals method is not overridden this is the another interview question another question is what collection you have used okay so what collection you have used and have you used has map Yes, right? so we having the list of the collection collection is your framework in collection we have a list we have a set we have a map right if we will go for the list we have a array list link list vector and a stack so we have a separate playlist of the collection i have made on this if you want to learn the collection uh, you can just refer those playlist then we have a collection in collection we have a set the implementation classes has set and link has set okay so this is your implementation class again we have a tree set and we have a map so in the map we have a hash map and we have a implementation class of link linked hash map okay and again we have a dictionary so many things are there in the collection few of the collection we are using frequently okay so what i suggest you you can explore list you can explore set inset uh, has set link has set tree set in map you have to explore has map then you have to explore link has map so these are the important uh you know collection we frequently use in our selenium so here have you used map yes so let me show you what is has map the underlying data structure is hash table the insertion order is not preserved it is based on the hash code of keys duplicate keys are not allowed but value can be duplicated heterogeneous object are allowed for both key and value null is allowed for only once hash map implement serializable clonable interface but not a random access okay hash map is the best choice if our frequent operation is search operation okay so we have used many places on the in java it depend upon you know 
uh, what I can say requirement when we have uh, some requirement to uh, insert your key or value then we should go for the map so we having the many places like when you are developing any library for excel leaf so from there we can also use the ma uh, hash map and all so we have a uh, many places it depend upon the requirement but you should know the concept of map or hash map okay how to how to resolve conflict while pushing code in the git so i have given this uh link so you can just refer this link and you can explore the git and this is you know the conflict will come in your code when you try to merge okay then you have to know how to resolve this conflict so be having the many ways so that's why i share this link so you can just go through and refer this link so you will get some idea how to resolve the con conflict okay thank you so much for watching this video guys if you are new in the channel please share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification the part be having the more questions so in this video i'm not sharing all the question because the video uh timing will be increased so i will share the part two in the coming days and be having the more scenario which the question they have asked so please subscribe my channel and press bell icon so you will get notification when i will upload this uh, you know part two so thank you again so much in the next video Bye bye